Hi team, welcome back to the DevOps channel. My name is Churaj Thilang. So today we are going to see about the. First of all, I would like to say sorry because yesterday and today I could not uh, upload my YouTube video on time uh, due uh, due to the uh, I had participated into hackathon for 2024 in my company and I was preparing on that. I have like uh, day four. So in day four, I have divided into three parts. One is networking, second is compute, and third one is storage. So first of all, I am taking compute services. So I would like to take some compute services. After that, I'll take uh, like a uh, day four part one, day four part two, and day four part three. In this, I'll take uh, some uh, extra uh, like uh, I'll create some parts extra. Part 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I want to create, suppose I am creating or uploading, making videos only on the virtual machine, then I'll tell everything, each and everything about the virtual machine. And after that, if I want to uh, speak about the like uh, app services or any other compute services, then I will talk about that only. So that's why just I want to create small, small uh, uh, videos with the uh, each and every resources. And uh, it mean whatever needed for the DevOps engineer that much uh, compute services. I'll uh, tell you here, guys. And after that, uh, networking, I'll explain networking in uh, a different part and I'll uh, explain stories also in different part introduction to the azure virtual machine it's a empowering your infrastructure with scalable computing by devops ridge youtube channel by shuras thelang so i would like to explain this guys all things from one by one it is azure virtual machine use cases so just you know uh, where DevOps engineer is going to use this development and testing environments in the development and testing environment DevOps engineer use this web hosting and application deployment data processing and analytics disaster recovery and backup solutions DevOps and continuous integrations continuous deployment CI/CD pipeline for this also we can use and uh, Key features of Azure uh, virtual machines, it's uh, like a scalability, flexibility, integration, security. So scalability means it's like a ability to scale virtual machine instances up or down based on the demand, right? If DevOps is near or creating some rules for the scalability, then automatically it will be like a, a create instances and run that. And suppose whenever we need to down that time definitely as per the rules that will work it mean it is a scalability flexibility support for various operating systems and software configuration okay. integration seamless integration with other Azure services like storage then we can say uh, Azure networking right then security built-in security features such as encryption firewalls and network security groups so we'll learn this all things about the security and integration part also so in uh, in future we'll do practically each and everything for security also like fire how to create the firewalls how to create the network security groups all those things there is another part so we'll talk about that later okay benefits of azure virtual machines it is like a cost effectiveness pay as you go pricing model reduces capital expenses one company is there and uh, they have uh, set up their data center then that that same data center cannot go globally right so it is like a global reach it means everywhere availability in multiple azure regions like uh, uh, i had explained previously like in one sec uh, there are 160 data centers in the 60 different different regions and real uh, reliability high availability and redundancy options ensure uptime and data integrity also here so if how how cost effectiveness because of whatever we are using that much of only we need to pay here right i had given example in my last uh, 
last to last video you can check there getting started with azure vms so first of all if you don't have the azure account then you need to go to the uh, like uh, google and put there create azure free trial account if you put there then go with the official link official link already i have uh, shared that and uh, my previous video is on that only how to create the uh, azure free trial account you can watch that video and uh, after that you can come here guys if you don't have the azure free trial account then accessing the accessing the azure portal how to access that you can see there in my last video then provisioning of virtual machines while provisioning the virtual machines there are like a configuration configuring vm settings like size region os etc i will show you guys here while creating then managing azure virtual machines it's for managing it is very important again like uh, suppose we have created a, one virtual machine and uh, deployed something on that virtual machine like a docker container and uh, suppose we are paying attention there and it is getting down so in this case if it is getting down and something is happening then in this case monitoring is very important so so this is also very important part then scaling virtual machine instances based on workload demands if there is uh, for example i would like to i think i have given the example also you can watch my introduction of uh, virtual machines uh, or azure introduction videos and after that you can come here guys so i want to explain here about the like i want to just create virtual machine here so that's why i'm not explaining that much of here implement implementing security best practices like firewalls encryption etc right i'll uh, uh, explain this each and everything in networking guys in future class then automating virtual automating virtual machine management task with azure automation and powershell thank you guys this much was the ppt now we'll go to the practical okay let's go we'll uh, do the practical and uh, see i have this account already sorry guys uh, i had forgot my password okay let's go and we'll uh, uh, log in here so yes guys i could able to log in now i had forgot my password so how to create the virtual machine and while creating the virtual machine on what things we need to pay attention first of all in azure we need to create a resource group and in this resource group we can create like resources so go and create resource group it is new rg you can give here any name there is no issue i'm creating this in central india south central us okay south central india okay you can choose any any region no issue here next name you can give here you can give here value there is no issue for the tag name and next and create create okay go to the resource see it has been created uh, new resource is created guys so this is a new resource group okay so now let's go to the virtual machine see here is a virtual machine just click on create and azure virtual machine so here we need to select the resource group already we have created here if you don't create if you don't have created resource group then from here also you can create guys just you need to click on create a uh, new and like that and you can create here also okay 
already we have created then we are taking it suppose this is a web application just this is okay we can see web app okay we can give you any name here no issue availability zone then this is the region yeah that's why it's coming then available availability options availability zone is taking no issue then availability zone zone ones is taking a default then security type it's trusted launch virtual machines okay then image it is taking ubuntu server 20.04 lts okay we can select this also there is no issue this is the latest ubuntu server and after that it's taking x64 no issue then size its price is depending on this if you are selecting big size here like uh, see standard d2s v3 2 vcp 2 cpus and 8 gib memory right so monthly how much is going for this 6376 rupees it is in india rupees right so monthly this much of going if you are selecting this big one 64 cpu and 16 gb then we need to, we need to pay 12753 if you are choosing this 2 cpu 16 gb memory then we need to pay here 8000 300 right so till the time we will take this no issue SSH public key or password suppose we are going with the password then we can click here and provide password suppose we are going with authentication type SSH public key no issue we can use from here username Azure user no issue it's taken SSH is public key resource it's generate new key pair right key pair name so we can give here key pair name anything like uh, suppose web app okay then inbound port rules rules we can you we can like uh, select rules suppose we want http we can take it we want https we can take it if you want http we can take it till the time we are taking this much but while working in office when whatever like a ports we we want to select as per our requirement that ports only we can select there right so till the time i am selecting this all and review next so here is no issue os disk okay image default 30 gib so keep default this guys till the time keep this all default and go down next no issue till the time take all these things default i have selected this then delete ip public ip and nic when vm is deleted then enable accelerator networking load balancing these all things should be now keeping on default then management enable basic plan for free identity azure ed these all things currently we are keeping default going with default guys now monitoring if you are like doing this then enable recommended alert rules you can go and uh, choose the alert rules percentage cpu is greater than 80 percent this like a like a thresholds we ca we can select here uh, alerts will uh, receive if it is 80 percent okay like that we can select from here uh, alerts also diagnostics then enable with managed storage account recommended enable with custom storage it is depend on that if you are selecting then custom storage you can take it so health enable application health monitoring if you want to check health then we can check or uh, click here okay go ahead don't tick anywhere now i would like to tell you custom data and cloud in it right 
so what is the custom data and what is the user data right we can put in custom data like uh, in aws there is a user data right likewise uh, i think more than that also we can put here uh, put here like a uh, put here scripting we can uh, put here scripts then as per that uh, we can use this okay custom data on the selected image will be processed by cloud in then user data see uh, for storing uh, secrets and password in user data it works like a, a lifetime like uh, here might have given the information pass a script configuration file or other data that will be accessible to your application throughout the lifetime of the virtual machine right i told you already right so it will work for lifetime so that's why don't use user data or storing secrets and password okay then performance nvme will see ahead no issue go next tags you can give here value you can give here no issue then review and create and create it is showing all information so download private key and create resource so it is downloaded now as a web app dot pem correct so likewise we need to create virtual machine and we need to use we can use virtual machine also so go to the resource now private public private uh, ip address also it is here so we can check see operating system is linux ubuntu 22.04 then publisher and all those things information is available here now we can use this for deployment purpose also right we can use this for uh, ci cd purpose also right so i told you i i have explained all those things already so for the day four there are like a three i have divided day four in three part like a day four part one day four part two and day four part three so today i have explained about the virtual machine this part is related to the compute service right so like a day four will not finish in one day if i am going to take all those things together like a compute service networking and storage then this video will go long that's why i don't want to like uh, create all things together and suppose someone want to see only virtual machine video or someone want to take uh, knowledge on virtual machine only they can come and see here app service and networking and uh, storage all those things like a uh, compute services storage networking all those things we'll see one by one and uh, it can be increased like a uh, 30 day to like one to two to three days can be increased right no issue if it is increasing but i want to provide like a uh, uh, detailed information that's why i am creating different different uh, like a uh, parts for the day four uh, so for today this was the this much only i had available for today so we'll meet tomorrow or the day the day after tomorrow and i will upload videos and we'll see so till the time please like like comment share and subscribe my channel but guys thank you so much bye bye